Well, welcome on back, everybody, to what is the last game of Day 3 King's Cup action. And good morrow, merry men and women. We're getting ready. It's Brackstone versus Complexity. We saw Game 1, quite the interesting lineup uh, from Complexity, wasn't it, Lacoste? Mm. Yeah, well, that that was some weird-ass lineup, I gotta say. <laughs> interesting was a much nicer way to put it. Yes, it was. Four-position troll and uh, five melee. Uh, a hoot of a time. I recommend, if you didn't catch it, be ready to watch the VOD on, on BTS's YouTube. It was quite a good time. But here we are. We already have a draft for game number two. So, Wizard, without further ado, would you please cast us a spell to get us into the draft so the viewers at home can see it? We are going to game number two, and we have a draft for you. <laughs> oh, wow. That was nice. Thank you. That actually You couldn't worked. even see. I mean, that was like no conviction, but sure. Wow. Well, you know... I'm old. I'm getting old. It shows. Tiny. The key element for game number one for it's Braxton back. is back. We're going to be seeing Panthera do some of that dirty tossback work yet again, potentially. Why do you want to eat all my orange? There you go. Tiny Weaver into the immediate Rubik counter. Z Freak Classic. This hero, I believe, is top top four, top five most picked in this tournament. 80% uh, win rate, something like that. It's kind of ridiculous. Whom? So Do you Rubik? know the stats, Rubik? Wizard? <laughs> wow, it's Wizard knows the ru the Wizards. Yeah, he's say something like top five and something like win rate. Okay, well, I'm, if, uh, because if I, if I say something specific, I'll cause it to be like, you're lying, you liar. You witch. And that then does get, sound like you. And then I'll get beheaded. Mm. Um, so, yeah, he's That sounds uh, like me. Rubik, is p it seems pretty good in the hands of Z-Freak, at the, at the very least. And uh, against the Weaver, it's, of course... Excellent. We haven't seen Necro a lot. Yeah, because, uh, well, Necro's good right now. It was first picked because Pugna is out, one of the better heroes against Necro in general, but uh, so is Tiny as well. Rubik is not that contested in other regions from what I see. It's mostly pick situational against some of big AoE ultis, and it's really good against the Weaver, as you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tiny is getting ignored by a lot of teams, too, surprisingly. Some of these teams are first phase picking, first phase banning it. The other teams are just completely ignoring it in the draft. Uh, it's a little a little bit like the silencer. With uh, a lot, Some teams are favoring it first. Other teams, it's kind of uh, falling off. I feel like the Tiny performance that game was not really justifying you know, the first phase pick other than the fact that it's a versatile hero, you know? Right. Uh, but a lot of the time when you see the Tiny picked by these teams, especially North American teams, there's some offlaner that plays a Tiny and is constantly running around the map, bursting people, destroy the lane. It's kind of that uh, stable, you're going to win the lane every single time pick. And speaking of winning lanes, that's exactly what Lich does. Often picked with a carry that loses the lane, so yeah. you just win the lane. Um, usually damage. good against physical damage, though, which not yeah. really seen that so far at Rayleigh. So, uh, but controlling the lane still very important. Uh, the uh, the axe maybe looking kind of good for Envy this game versus the Weaver. Hell yeah, yeah, that's a good hero. Hmm. Uh, well, if you if you think about the Lich, his ulti deals amazing amount of magical true. damage. It only needs needs to bounce once to deal more damage than Lion's Finger. Yeah, which is pretty insane, that's and crazy. it slows as well. And Necrophos wants to be in the middle of the fight too. Yeah. yeah. So, just don't hand it over to Rubik. Also That's careful. true. That's true. Also, they banned out uh, Bat Rider, which is one of the better heroes against Necro. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I think they played it really well in the previous game. Yeah, Tech has a really good bat for sure. Completely hard counters a Necro in lane. You just get two napalms on him, press Firefly, and he dies. Was the Pugna banned? Yes, first phase. Okay, the Pugna was first phase yeah. banned. So that's why they take the Necrophos. Ooh, and now the Enigma. Will come out for complexity. This could, well, I guess if they have Rubik, that's Z Freak's hero. So snaking Enigma, snaking Enigma. I think I think he's a, a good player to fulfill the the Enigma role because he's always a, a very greedy offlaner. He plays a lot like a carry, no matter what offlaner he he takes. Uh, even if he takes, you know, some tight hunter, he'll play it like a carry. He'll get items. He'll go late game. He'll destroy you. Uh, push lanes, kind of, uh, you know. Focusing on pressuring lanes rather than yeah. the taking, benefit taking fights. over Tide Hunter wow. is that you wow. can't just get a BKB and shrug hmm. off his ultimate. Yeah, exactly. Isn't jug. it interesting that yeah, this jug comes out, but they pick the Enigma before the Envy hero. Doesn't that seem kind of wild? Like they always leave his hero for so late. 
Uh, ever since he wasn't just first picking Ogre or Axe every game. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. Maybe they're just seeing what happens if they leave the if they leave the Envy hero. Because obviously a lot of people are banning a lot of an awful lot of his heroes. So it's just like okay, yeah. well let's let's practice when we don't get these staple uh, Envy picks. I mean, he still has Bane. I guess has been uh, one other pick that it's Envy has played it's in quite this good event. Here. Yeah, it's really good against the Jug because he has you know the spin you just grip. Yeah, uh, it's really good against the Weaver. It was a Luna. Okay. <laughs> Luna for uh, J.O., right? Yeah. Possibly. So That's a lot of team fight what about potential uh, from both teams. It's, it's, hard to, it's hard to guess who's going to be on the Luna because... Uh, <laughs> what, you the Envy Luna support <laughs> Envy? <laughs> maybe. Sure, you never know. It's got Night maybe, Vision. Dude. There's value. Maybe it's got it's an Aura. Maybe it's an Envy support Enigma to counter the Lich. No way, dude. I think we might see a Shadow Demon. We Shadow saw Demon Luna return. We Enigma. saw this pairing what, Lich what, what? against Enigma. So they both deny creep, so you pair them up on the same lane. Yeah. Oh. That, yeah, then yeah, that's equalize what I, the whole that's thing. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah, that's so. pretty smart. And Enigma does it better, right? Like the cooldown's lower until you get more points yeah. in sacrifice. So costs a lot of mana, though, but yeah. it's, uh, you know, you, you've clarities, you've mangoes. Especially no, as a support. This is Shadow Demon coming. Hard so purge through the so Blade Fury. Disruption yeah. to avoid the Omni Slash. It's good with Luna. Purges the Frost could Armor too. Position for five question mark. Yeah, that's the other thing is they could do some <laughs> crazy four or five position. <laughs> that's too. what they assumed. They banned DK, which could also be an Envy hero. Uh, oh my god! Has high <laughs> HP regen <laughs> and a stun. <laughs> it could be an Envy hero. <laughs> I would actually love this what like uh, we four or five position DK. <laughs> oh my god! Pushes towers, tanky. From the trees, Dragon Tail. Okay, so is Enigma and Rubik going to be together? Because if we assume this was an offlane Enigma, do you think Rubik's a good hero as Enigma pulls back the I lane? Uh, I actually think so. I think yeah. I think Rubik is never a hero that you pick into a winning scenario anyway. And right. Z Freak just plays it really well and then wins somehow. But it's more so like you want the Rubik in the game. And uh, I think Enigma is perfect for those picks that you just want in the game because it's like a lich. No matter what, you'll uh, you'll win you'll win the lane. You'll do fine in the lane. So it's. It's very strange to enable a four roll like that, but there are a lot of these four rolls that will do a lot in the game if you give them the opportunity right. to do Axe so. Axe is still in there, too. Now, guys, bear Listen. with me here. Have <laughs> you seen the Envy stream support Faceless Void? Oh, please. Oh, Let, hear me out now. God. All right, in lane, time dilation versus the Weaver. Okay. Ownage. Mm. BKB piercing versus the Juggernaut. Okay. The way to go. Combination with the Scythe. Rubik steals Eclipse. He steals Black it. Hole setup. The, the Chain Frost uses it in the in the Chronosphere. I mean, King's Cup. If, if, if Envy wanted to bring it to the masses, to I really wanna, show I want to believe. I want to believe. Man, complexity drafts are the best. You just get to talk about what Envy's going to play the entire time. It's fabulous. Mm. Here we go. That's that's not face. That's a board. Marana. What? They misclicked, probably. Oh, so Envy. Oh, Envy thought he picked Void when he picked the big purple guy, but that's oh. Enigma for oh himself. Oh my God! All right. Well, Envy. maybe next time, Envy. Come okay. on. Yeah, they guess I'll have to settle for Marana. They All do right. look very similar. Yeah, it's understandable how you can make such an error. All right, but I'm not sure if Envy's playing the Marana or the Rubik. Enigma. Z Freak plays both. I think. Oh, think I think Envy's Enigma. playing. An, uh, actually, it's probably Envy Rubik, right? And Z Freak Enigma. I, I think it's. I think it's going to be Snake King Marana because he's. Amazing! At me. Like that's one of his I see them all heroes. play all three heroes. To be honest, so I don't know what the hell's gonna. Happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a wild guess and just say the Enigma is a counter to the Lich, which is yeah. So it's envy. <laughs> it's probably envy. Yeah. There's no there's no great counters for the black hole though, just given how Braxton has drafted. So they have tiny. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So maybe Enigma Vengeful. on a core roll would be better just because of that. Marana for the right. The ranged right clicks in the lane with the Luna. Maybe Marana's the envy hero. Rubik would also not be that bad in the safe lane, just given that you have the Luna. I've aura. seen Team Spirit running Necro as position five on yeah. FG oh two games in God. a row. Yeah, yeah, that mm. was an interesting one. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I remember. I feel like Necropos used to be a support, considered a support. I feel like that's pretty ago. terrible, just because he functions based on getting last hits. Wow. I haven't seen that hero in a while. What is that hero? What the puck is that? <laughs> <laughs> these are some terrible heroes. Jug puck. Wow. Yeah. So many, so many heroes getting dusted off the shelf this <laughs> series. <laughs> yeah. Just like this guy looks good. This lady hasn't seen the light in a while. <laughs> Let's bring him out. Wow, a Kataro juggernaut. Hmm. 
It has been a long it's time. It's an envy enigma. It is an yeah. envy enigma. I think that makes sense. The I think it's what counter. you said with, the, yeah, countering the lich in the lane. That's such a way envy would think, right? <laughs> it really like is. Like he wants to match his five versus their five and have a better impact on the game, which he Jesus. probably will. So you see that lich set? Good lord. Yeah, he Straight is. Straight up Diablo styling. right there. Oh, my God. Pretty hype. <laughs> Look at that skull. It's Jug much Arcana, it. does he have the expensive sword? No, he does not have the expensive ah, sword. Ah, so he sucks. Uh, his set's not that good either. I don't know why you would play Why is he even playing Juggernaut, I right? You need the golden Doug set. Doug is the most classic Dota hero <laughs> to exist. All right? True. I've said this all the time. <laughs> Get like Snake, six perseverances. Snaking Marana, J.O. Luna. Lots of ladies on mounts. We got Marana, Luna, Necrophos. Not the uh, squishiest lineup for a puck to play into, honestly. I mean, they're like kind of and the magic amp onto the Necrophos, maybe by a veil. I think Puck is very hard this game. And he doesn't have a... Oh, I guess he does have a pairing, actually. I lied, because he has the uh, support tiny. This guy loves tossing people. Like, Puck Venge was really popular oh, when Puck yeah. was actually being yeah. picked, so we can snap the coil with the toss instead. But that sounds <laughs> a little convoluted. It's like a circus act that they <laughs> want to try to perform. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just challenging yourself. Just makes the game so complicated yeah. for yourself. They're like, doing a Dota Plus quest or something. <laughs> like I don't know why. <laughs> why don't we just pick regular heroes? We're trying to be the globe trotters here. You're really. Well, we're gonna have an interesting game at least. Yeah. Yeah. I'll well, have one of your pretzels. How, how does someone words. get into an interesting game? Does it, how how would one find a way to do that? Uh, perhaps a king would command his wizard. Uh, okay. To conjure up a concoction or spell to take us in there. Do it, you damn wizard. Okay. We are going into the game. Let's hope that it's not very lame. No, you weren't supposed to use it. We talked about that, right? We talked about that. Oh, yeah, you did that already. Ah, oh, God. No, I did it twice. It was you bad. You did it twice. And now you just did it thrice. Well, I was just, I mean, it's a game. Oh, whatever. Don't do it twice. Yeah. 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 I, or else. And I, I've been the wizard, the wizard like six times. Not the RZA. I wish I was the RZA. Tiny. Tiny, tree throw, level one. Yay! Ooh. This is a completely different Tiny than we've seen before. He got a talking to. Took it instantly before he even ran into another hero. That's how you know. Braxton, still uh, out of favor on the GG bet. Yeah, tends to happen when you're probably not as well known as some of the names we see on Complexity here. So I bet on paper most people would probably favor the Cole boys. The old oh. cowboys, if you will. They're going to do Juggernaut and Lich mid against the Necrolite. Uh, this Necro is going to suffer. I mean, you can't use the Ghost Shroud. That's all this hero is about. And they, ha they can slow you, spin. He's going to need to TP out, but what happens after? I don't know. I like this a lot, actually. This is... Enjoy. Lich is one of the few heroes you can do a lane with mid and actually get relatively the same amount of farm. Uh, XP, I should say. So that's uh, dodging the Enigma lane with the Lich. Sounds like the something you would just grief the hell out of the other mid laner for sure. Oh, yeah. If there's somebody you, you want to tilt, you definitely do this in the mid lane. Limps is going to be like, are you serious? I did not enjoy this game. <laughs> is he a tilty player? Limp? Or? Yeah. Probably not. Seem, seems I, mean, do you think, I don't know. I don't know. He seems chill. He's chill in pubs. He's probably make it chill. Spin on a Necro in mid already. Yep. Establishing dominance, as they say. Uh, just a little bit of pee. He'll eat some spinach, and Limp will heal up that much faster. But, yep, there's going to be the nuisance of the Lich there. Now, how do you mend this? You know, is Complexity going to have to actually consider rotating someone over like Z-Freak to kind of poke at the mid lane also? Or if they want to just lose, lose the mid lane, sacrifice, win the bottom lane, top lane. Should be fine with Enigma denying the creeps. Yes, you're right. They could do that as well. I mean, Necro. Puck should be able to hang in a solo lane, but oh, Necro, this is a bit of a disadvantage here. He's able to walk back under the trees, though. He's going to be fine. No, I, I, I think, I think Puck is perfectly fine in a solo lane scenario, especially because they didn't block, like one, one versus two, per perfectly fine because you, they didn't block the easy camp, so he can just pull that back. So I would say this is. Probably a scenario where you want to send somebody mid, but you can't send the Enigma mid unless you put the Rubik to top or you do some sort of lane swap because uh, this Luna is going to get completely destroyed. She's uh, a carry that 
She's not like the other character. Oh, that oh, is snap. A Limp goes down. That's your first Dead blood. Limp. Kotaro Hayama picks it up. First blood juggernaut. The uh, the first time that's happened since 2017. Yeah. That sounds like a real stat. As long as you say it confidently. I would believe you, juggernaut. Yeah, yeah in that uh, <laughs> game during, uh, what was it? What it was, was um, it? ESL, ESL Frankfurt. Frankfurt, yeah. I yeah. Think, uh, the second Bottom game. Oh yeah, God, second game of the Lich. third series Serious. on the fifth day. Groups, group B, right? Yeah. yeah. And a beautiful first blood. Not was. sure if they're bullshitting or not. Can't fact oh, that's check a nice them. Tech is dead. Not nice enough, though. I thought, thought he had the save. Luna Enigma just killed killed a Weaver. He must have really screwed up. They need a sentry in this lane for sure. Yeah, Weaver didn't use the swarm. They could have gotten the return kill on Enigma at least because... He doesn't have that high armor four, but was near the tower, tiny with a couple of right clicks would be more than enough. That's a double damage lich, maxing frost blast. Yeah, that's uh, that's a rough life. Olymp needs to adjust his item build. Needs to get the boots first. Also, once Juggernaut gets his, he's oh behind the tower and up to the out. top. They're making a committed hard dive for the Luna Panther. Will turn around and whack her on down. Oh, envy, and, and they might too. get envy too. This will certainly make things uh. Oh, nice. To the favorite. Oh, the the top lane. Mm. And he just throws some shekels on his head like, Shta! gotcha. It's like the coins, you know, on the eyes, on the body. <laughs> <laughs> He's That's like, fell over dead. <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace, sir. All the coins on the eyes are so you can pay the Undertaker. That's right. And yeah. the river sticks. Yeah. Wow. You Great guys, band. You guys know your history and lore of life, I guess. Oh, Ooh, they careful, Jug. on lip again. Oh, my God. Chopping him down. Solving as he spins. When I say Undertaker, well. in Egyptian mythology, the guy who would take you with a boat to whatever life. <laughs> the afterlife? Afterlife, oh, yeah. Okay. He's like the, the god? He's like the nah, Grim Reaper. I think, think that was Grecian. I'm pretty sure that's Egyptian. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna call false on that. We're gonna have a lot. Of <laughs> I mean, uh, they could have used it. <laughs> Maybe historian. it's both. We'll say it's both. Dota two historians are gonna tweet at your asses later. Those are the worst kind of tweets. <laughs> <laughs> you idiots and your ad lib comment on a broadcast said something wrong. <laughs> I have seven degrees in that, <laughs> and you are false, sir. <laughs> and I happen to enjoy Dota as well. <laughs> so Thank I you for what you do. <laughs> You're very kind. <laughs> And V on the verge of death does end up getting dropped. King Tekka Sakuchi's away, just barely alive, and they continue to go on their assault in this top lane, right under the tower, disrespecting complexity yeah, and a five-one advantage. You know, the issue with with uh, Enigma is the exact same issue with Lich in the safe lane, and it's that if you pick heroes that can be dove into heroes that like to dive, they'll dive you, uh, and then they'll kill you, and then it doesn't matter that you're denying them creeps because. You're getting kills for it's almost no cost. Sounds like simple mathematics there, yeah, I have to it say. Is, uh, it's pretty simple. Don't pick a, a mouse into a cat. <laughs> oh, hmm. <laughs> well, this lane swap arena. Yeah, Limp is getting the warm welcome of the bottom lane, if you will, with a good old Did Decreptos it? Excel's combo. just following <laughs> him. Draken <laughs> throws some more <laughs> shekels on his head. Thanks for coming to bottom. Well As Grant Grant would say, uh, handled, I believe. Yeah. Good old Molly whopping. Uh, what? A molly whopping. Is that like a burn burner? I don't know. That's a grant terminology there. Ah, wow. Molly Fair enough whopping. then. I assume it's just a nice way of saying an ass beating, but could be wrong. Rotations from Brax to the God. mid lane. That's a three man rotation. He's baiting out a TP away. Chugs out of here. I'm pretty sure that was Greek mythology. I'll <laughs> 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 tap yeah. Google. <laughs> 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 it is Grecian, all right. Got him. <laughs> okay, limp. Not gonna spin up. Oh, they rotated Kotaro down here <laughs> to uh, welcome back the Necro, and <laughs> Excel joins too. I'll Google that after. Like, yeah, we're gonna spend way more time to see something I don't rings have time a to bell Google. in my I'll head. I got a terraform Mars about later. Egyptian as right. well. You gotta watch the game. But this game? No. Oh, okay, good. That's true. Yes, th thankfully these players are getting things done in time for the Leafs game in half an hour. So I commend you, Braxton and Complexity. Make this another quick one. Ah, yes. Not that it matters, for I am the king. The good old game of Ice Puck. I love me some Ice Puck. They need a, uh, a skating courier. You know, there's a hockey courier. I don't know how he got in. Oh, Can well, Canada Cup. That's Canada Canada Cup. Bearski. That's Bearski, my yeah. man. Oh. Shout outs to the good old Canada Cup. I don't know if that would make it in these days. Oh. But he's a good looking bear. Yes, he is. 
Good old toss back from Panthera, the special. Now swapping him with a stick, and that's gonna be a takedown of Luna. Braxton continue their assault. Another back toss. Seven to one. Oh, here oh, we go. The Brazil special. Seven to one, no, not the toss back. Here comes, uh, <laughs> let's clarify there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the Omni Slash finally comes out here. Somebody has hit level six, actually almost level seven now. It's cool that they rotate the Jug to the bot lane to deal with the Necro when the Necro, or sorry, when the Jug's level five, but then the moment that the Marana rotates to the Jug and the Jug is level six, he just kills her. Like, I think he's actually totally fine with being against any hero at this point. Maybe other than the Necro, just because he can, because he can uh, use the Ghost Shroud with the with, with the, the Ghost Shroud key. Exactly. Yeah. Presses the key, and then the ult is. Well, they're diving again. No more. Right. He's to be a little bit careful, I think, in the mid game, just because Juggernauts tend to like to play very deep. Uh, but we have the Scythe as well as the Black Hole that will yeah. be available to cancel the spin TP. So as and long as he doesn't feed away his lead. Now they're just landing the puck versus the Necro. But they can't kill him until Necro gets level 6 and he's really far away also. Puck pushing the lane, he's gonna get the Invis rune. Yep. Oh. And Zephyr had been camping this mid lane for who knows how long, hoping for an opening and opportunity, but none presents itself. And Zephyr is gonna have to do the long walk back down. So it's unfortunately been a little inactive as your Rubik. All the activity of course coming from Braxstone's side and in particular this top lane. Uh, you can see Luna saving points, she has Two points in beam, one point in blessing. If she needs to go to jungle, she's gonna use the those abilities to put it into moon glaives. Yeah. It's a hard jungle game just because the Necro is not having a good game at all, and uh, the Marana's having a decent lane despite or decent game despite dying to the. Oh, Lich the is six. He wants to toss the Lich. Yeah, that's a nice defensive hey board, though. Yo. Oh, wow. Uh, is this still going to work? He does it, does it, yeah. It, oh, it oh, bounces back bounce. instead. But it does come back forward again. <laughs> <laughs> so all is good. <laughs> wow. He, he got the creep wave, too. Yeah, that that's, was just that's style bonus. points. Very forgiving Chain Frost there. They will be successful in taking down Jo. We see these spin out from Kotaro Hayama as he's now pitted against Snake King. He must have, yeah, he just got Omni back too. So he's ready to go right back up with the salve. I think if he hits her like once or twice, he can just Omni. And she dies. So what should you be doing right now as uh, Braxton? And you have this advantage on the Jug. You probably want to start getting some kills with your Puck. It'd be kind of nice, right? This big old Dream Coil going on. Maybe someone could rotate in, try and kill Limp. I feel like you don't want to give him any space at this point. You definitely want to be the first team to make the the lane rotation in this game because they have a lot of really good kill heroes. Uh, well, well, they kind of did with the Omni Lich. bottom. Oh, oh. I, I even saw that in the mini. I'm map. telling you, he he needed to hit him a couple times. He can't just Omni. Doesn't uh, doesn't just leap, you know. It is relatively weak early on. Yeah, it's only three hits, and you get like I'm not even sure if Jug has the attack speed to hit between. In the, in the early that's levels. aesthetically pleasing. You see how the bounty rune that yeah, whole goes in a nice little diagonal. Nice. Oh my that, that is, is some nice. oddly satisfying pop up right there. I like that. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was that had to be accent that had to be highlighted. It really right did. I love me some <laughs> satisfying pop ups. <laughs> so the Radiants scan the tower to see if anyone's there. Now they watch the Necro come out and they're just running through the Chain tower. Chain Frost about to be up in two seconds if they'd like it. They're gonna burst out of it. Backups are coming, but they could turn it back in around. Z Freak doesn't have spells still yet, so the Lich doesn't have to fear the Chain Frost being taken. The only thing with Braxstone's lineup is that they don't exactly have great tower push aside from the Jug, the healing yeah. ward, but that's usually like a full committal to the tower with heroes kind of surrounding the Jug sieging and a lot of the time on a siege wave. So really they have to play around these siege waves and uh, they are in the top lane, yeah. it appears. Oh, hey. wow, that timing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that tip was a little deserved. Unfortunately for Envy, uh, Limp is going to die. Comes out at the same time that's done. Hey, Braxstone, they're Limp on fire. Have no reveal. Yeah, Limp is just getting bullied in this game. Look who it is, good old Kataro. He's looking for him. Give him the spin. Oh God. He's had Limp's number in the early part of the game. And he is also way far in ahead when you look at the net worth here. He's about 5k. The next closest is going to be Snake King. 
He's up there at the top. On the net worth chart? On that net worth chart. No, I love the net worth chart. If I had to pick one chart that I love, David, it's probably that <laughs> net worth chart. <laughs> no mercy for David. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All the bugs are going to kill him. We got all the Snake King. The top net worth for complexity gets dropped. And King Tekka cleans up another, making it a two for special, taking out Envy. Not complexity's day to day. 14 and 1. Brax, yeah, I'm putting in the biggest beating we've seen of King stuff. And this this game is like, this draft from complexity is completely legitimate. Like, there's nothing that's super silly like the first one. This is an actual ass whooping coming out of Braxton. They they did a really good job predicting these lanes and completely punishing with their, with their lane rotation so far as well. They're actually playing this really nicely. If they stay as disciplined as they did in the previous game, this is just going to be a stomp. Just have some very intriguing things that you're not going to be seeing out of just... You know, when you hear like the March philosophy, like, oh, we see other teams picking Drow, so we're going to get pick it. It feels like it's quite the opposite for a team like Braxton. We're like, oh, we like Jug. We're going to pick Jug here. Or Puck seems good. Or, yeah. you know, we <laughs> we know that our man Tiny over here, Panthera, is just an animal. So let's make sure we get him what he wants. They're, they're building to their comforts. Yeah. And it's taking complexity out of their comfort zone. Completely, yeah. It's a, a conversation I've had with a lot of other players, just the, the difference in the opinions of people in Dota. And a lot of people have absolute opinions, too, where they're like, this is the way you have to do it. Uh, but they're also completely different that it leads to these. The, uh, not oh, expecting stole the, the Omni. Oh, okay, nice. And gets out with it, too. So, I mean, not very good because it's the uh, level one Omni, unfortunately, for a Rubik especially. But it might be enough to finish someone off. No hole. Puck is fine. There's not much to kill a puck in this game aside from the Rubik lift and the whole maybe like a scythe setup, but you would need some burst to, to kill the puck in the scythe. Perhaps he stole an Omni Slash. Oh, that would work. <laughs> it would suck to have oh, to use your Beaver's scythe on the chasing puck. Marana. I think he, he dies no here. Leaks. Yeah. Oh, the puck is in fall. Dude, King Tekka. Oh my god. Put in the work. Still wants to hang close enough for the so XP. That Te urn, though. Tekka has an urn, right? That's so yep. sick. Yeah. yeah, man. I was flamed so much for playing offlane Weaver when she was buffed uh, like this. Just go for Spirit Vessel, especially against It's really good. have a lot of heal. Yeah. I'm glad it's back. The bugs plus Spirit Vessel is just a ridiculous combo because the Spirit Vessel puts them low enough that they'll die to the bugs, essentially, over time. And uh, it puts them to that threshold, too, where they can't just sit there and hit the bugs because you're chasing them. It's it's actually just insanely good. And it's not that much of a... Like, you can still do a lot of damage as well, even with the Spirit Vessel. Envy's, like, playing with his quick bite. You can see these lofty goals. He's, like, BKB, and then Blink Dagger queued up, <laughs> and then it just turns into Tranquils, and then it turns into Magic just a raindrop. Drop. Yeah, that's just his tears right now for this game. He's like, you know what, honestly, I'm just sad as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, God. bottom of the uh, the rankings there. He's got leap net worth. He's gonna start putting branches in there soon. <laughs> got to fill those slots. Clarities, man. maybe some wards. Oh, Rubik has Shikuchi. The best spell he can steal. He's trying. Oh, oh throws, not when he got dust. dust on the other side. <laughs> ah, he does have Shikuchi, but no time lapse. Whee! Whee! Oh, Ooh. nice. Excel from downtown with the surprise, motherfucker. All the way from beyond. Sixteen and one. It continues here for Braxton. That's going to be four runes oh, again. Damn. And double blinks picked up. Tiny and Puck at the same time. That is terrifying. Yeah. That, that's yeah. some GG stuff right there. Like, damn. The, this, what is Limp going to do? Die? Just I, die? I was worried he about will the die. <laughs> on tower push from Braxton. Uncomebackable? Is that what it's at right yeah. now, you think? It, it's feeling like that. It's feeling like that for sure. But that was nice. Not the last it. Still have yet to get this mid tower. Brazilian is always holding that Stop. mid tier one. Only one tower taken down for Braxton team so far. Is, is he coiled? That. Isn't he just about to get coiled and dove? Got coil. Don't even need to. But there's Limp's a confidence seems a bit unnerving for Braxton. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's so someone well. waiting behind him. Oh, it looks like Panther has spotted some trouble nearby. And uh, that's going to be the hole committed for Tiny. They are going to get the finish. Counter coils there. But it's King Tekka sweeping through, able to get the swift finish of Limp. And as it looks like it will end two for one, a favorable switch up for Braxton as it costs him a black hole. Oh, gosh. Now with that on cooldown, not much of a threat there for Braxton to have to worry Weaver about. should have chased that Enigma to get the second charge on Spirit Vessel. So valuable. 
Maybe he'll get it now. He may. It looks like they will. Snake King. There's one leap left. Yo, don't do this. Turns back. Oh, nice arrow. The arrow and the Star Storm, but the quick time lapse. Yeah, not going to be there in time with the Scythe. And, oh, meanwhile, I'm guessing that was an Omni. J.O. slashed apart here. Does he have here. a Shadow Blade? No, he just ran in. Oh, just picks up the Manta now, though. Okay. Pops the ward. He's going to be good to the high ground limp. Not able to quite spot out the Lich. Has to let him go. And I feel like we have not seen any Reaper Scythes yet in this game. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think we have. <laughs> it's a tough game. They, they, they could take, w with the Luna ulti, they could take a smoke and then just Reaper Scythe somebody and drop the, drop the Luna ulti. And I think that would actually kill, that would kill the Jug or the Puck. I'm not sure you've, you've anything to get on the Weaver unless you have like the Rubik go first. I mean, they ha they have combos. It just seems like they're they're kind of just standing in these towers waiting for fights to start and then losing them and then losing the towers. I think they're just really big Leafs fans. You know, like game starts. And maybe. It's like half an hour. So Cole is just trying to get out of here. By the time that thing gets going. Envy is Canadian. That, that must be what it is. I, I hear I'm he's sure a huge Envy. hockey yeah, fan. Yeah, I love hockey. <laughs> I, there's like probably a hockey anime, right? Oh, I'm sure there is. There there's you go. anime for everything. There's <laughs> tennis, there's basketball, there's boobs. There's all sorts of animes out there. Yeah. Boku no boobies. You heard of that one? Oh, that's a big one. Classic. All right. The tower. Oh, the black hole! It's like... <laughs> 70 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Jug is so tanky with that frost armor. Manta style too. Just dispel anything. They have nothing that goes through Jug's blade to it. Yes, we have a black hole, but are you gonna be able to cast it? They just smoked the black hole ready. In next fifty seconds. They really need to do some lift combo with the Reaper Scythe into They have damage. They 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 can kill somebody. They They're have Marana with Tarcane Rune, so she's gonna use the ulti, that's perfect. All right, big old arrow. This is a nice target, too. The Juggernaut. Okay. Oh, he's Can low, too. And they get him. They got the advantage. They got the advantage. Do they have a way to lock him down? Are they going to have to hope for the Hail Mary arrow? Scythe him? Scythe, nice. it's the burst will be good enough. Four times kill streak and bounty. Going to be handed over to Limp. 470 gold. He's happy about it. It's one step in the right direction. It was about 30 steps ahead. <laughs> and one step closer to 3 2 2. Mm. We need three kills for Braxton. You are right. The, the magic memes, number. The memes are palpable. The, the fuel chat, King's Cup. The chat is just waiting. It's crazy that we're watching Complexity play uh, versus Braxton, and we're like just begging for a single scythe to be used, and it's like so hype because it's just looked so rough up until this point that even a single scythe is good for them, even though that's. Just what Necrophos does, you know? It's it's that bad. Well, they push lanes quickly, both Luna and Rubik, who had stolen Illusory Orb. I forgot the name of the spell. Which one? Illusory Orb. Because I didn't see Puck for so long. Illusionary Orb. Okay, got his tower. And Typical Rubik stuff. Roche time for Brackstone. Five banning that rush. That could be a pretty sweet black hole. Yeah, just get that blink dagger going, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah it almost Jug. has it. Got Tranks, Wind Lace, Movement Speed Talent soon. So, you know, at least he has some mobility. Doesn't need the blink necessarily. Zoom in. Did you uh, mention rather the Weaver going for Agnum Scepter? Oh, that's pretty standard oh, yeah, the build for the offlane Weaver once you go for Spirit Vessel. You're not playing the damage dealer. This game actually gets so hard for them yeah. when he has the Agonims because yeah. there's the Black Hole and the Reaper Scythe, which are two extremely committal spells, and then obviously the Reaper Scythe. And they're so key for their only comeback. Exactly. Okay, like they need to Scythe someone. Snake King top, finds himself in a coil and a burst combo, and then uh, finds himself six feet under. Pressure for bottom. J.O. Oh, trying to oh go wow. on his hammer, but the chain frost from the trees. Oh, Excel gets it done. One more kill, and we have memes. Draken. Oh, no, don't die. He's got it. Oh, wait. No, this is good. Die. Oh, no. Oh, it happened. Three, two, two. We got it. We got it. For it happened. But a brief it moment. Happened. But a brief moment, we had the 3-2-2. Well, <laughs> Kenny was shocked.
They got Envy as well, which <laughs> kind of got us there that much better. So Envy getting the, the kill <laughs> or the death that kind of put us on the mark. He's so thoughtful. 13K net worth advantage for Braxton. Good practice opportunity for Complexity to be able to come back. I really that's, don't That's a great way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> they should have been practicing winning. That's what they should have been doing. They're turning the gravity up in the chamber right now. God damn. What a stomp. I did not expect this. That will be the final outer tower. All eyes forward for the base. Snake King. Not really uh, worrying about any sort of blink toss back. The rest of his team, uh, it does look like they are going to make a move towards the top. Manta Ooh, to dodge nice the arrow dodge. from Kotaro. Halfway oh, down. There's that toss back. It's on Snaking, and it's an insta takedown. He's got 44 seconds. No buyback on that Marana. This tier three set to fall. Sna or Z Freak, rather. Steal Sakuchi, and he might have Sakuchi himself into his own demise. He will Ooh. get dropped. Does have buyback. Can buy back if necessary, but destruction may continue here. There's that buyback. The toss back for J.O. He goes down. Also going to have to buy back. Discipline potentially here from Braxone if they could totally withdraw. Man. Complexity will have to have spent a lot of money just for that defense. I feel like all five heroes have had their moment in this game from Braxstone. Like, the puck pick has looked really good. He's been extremely active, getting uh, pickoffs on the side when Cola trying to, like, split push a little bit to come back. You got the Juggernaut looking really good with this, uh, sp the spinning as well as the Omni Slash. Lich ultis have been on point. Man, Tiny doing me, his thing. Let me tell you something. Lich tell me something. 808. Oh, Lich. Excel has been doing a really good job with the Lich. A lot of the time people are super passive with this hero, but with the ulti you can actually gank really nicely. Like a lot of the time you'll see the cores rotating in the laning phase just because they have, you know, the power spikes and the spells, uh, which of course give them power spikes. But Lich is actually a hero that gets level six very quickly and you can make a lane rotation. Yeah, he killed the Luna at he level killed, five. He killed the Luna, which results in a tower, which results in pressure, which results in the enemy team revealing information. Then your cores can make more moves. And that's all from a support role. So if you, if you I mean, if you, a lot of people play it passively, so I, I guess you have to play it well in order to achieve that, but obviously he has. He's killed so many people with this ultimate at this point. Smoke move from Complexity here, heading all the way down south, possibly into the Braxstone Woods. Panthera shows up, could be the one to spot this rotation. There's the Midnight Shadow. Oh. Or Moonlight Shadow. It's Panthera. A rock. Oh. Feels a stop, blinks away. Kind of awkward, throwing out a stun. <laughs> they just want someone else. And uh, J.O. gets <laughs> tossed up <laughs> into the Blade Fury. <laughs> Small arrow, and that's it's it. like, they we need to kill <laughs> someone who's not this stupid tiny. That's so funny. He's just He's the guy the way. He's godlike. actually just doing a lot of work. All chasing right. out Z Freak and a bit of a pickle. Oh, my God. I've never seen such a surround where it's like, well, do, do we go? It's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this man. This man is everywhere. Do they close this game? They don't have the best siege lineup. Yeah, I think they do. I think yeah, they I think got it. I think so. I mean, two are going to be out for about 40 seconds with no buyback whatsoever. Ooh, it's a 3 v 5 That was a nice dodge. Yeah, this so is their best chance. Healthy. Let's see if Braxton can get in there and get it done. Four to five. Coming out now. 30 seconds on the Luna and the Rubik. Uh, does Envy have a Blink Dagger? If not, yeah, they're kind of screwed. Yeah, no, he definitely does not. I feel like the puck can just like go forward and distract too Man. if he wants. This Toss tiny, back. he's just tossing them back. Yeah. This, this is the most toss backs that I've seen. This guy's like probably in a pro game. He's like he's like a Pudge too. player or something. Yeah. He's just yeah. pissed yeah, that Pudge yeah. got nerfed. He's like, I'm gonna play tiny, just like Pudge. You know, if you ran into a Pudge in the woods, you wouldn't go on him either. That's true. He's feeling like a pudge to complex. I'd probably avoid a pudge if I ran him in the woods because that guy's terrifying. Ooh, the it fake back. Very bad. Fake back. There they're going to run back in. They're looking to go oh, for the bake. ending. Oh, what a bait. They missed it, though. They missed the grab. Still Panthera will get dropped. They still want to swing it out. Oh, Coming yeah. out from the Eclipse, they're going to fight right through it. There's the Blade Fury. Envy able to get the black hole oh, off the onto bounces. three. The bounces from the Chain Frost doing work. Damaging down, finishing off Z Freak. Envy very low. Gets hit up with the urn and has to pull off. Damage on the Kataro though. He tries to retreat away. Limp going on the chase. Meanwhile, King Tekka cleaning up the back lines. Able to get the double kill as he finishes off Envy. Now look at a chase down Snake King. Who's going to have to turn the corner and head back inside. King Tekka not done yet though. Look at a chase on in. Looking to go for it. Can oh, he get up? Nice. Yes, he can. The alley-oop. 
Woo. Soften them down for the Draken My finale, good and that's it. God, ladies and gentlemen, Braxton with their first day of play score a convincing 2-0 against Complexity. What My a team, that 2-0, too. I think both drafts were pretty clowny in uh, game one and game two, but uh, Brax had a better lineup. And they set the lanes correctly in game two, which kind of destroyed Complexity. You thought Braxton's lineup was clowny or, cl or Complexity's, complexity's lineup? Complexity's lineup was, was way more clowny. Game one, certainly. Game two, I mean, you can maybe make an argument. I, but I yeah. would make an argument. The game, I mean, we see Envy playing ridiculous stuff like Axe support, and then when they win, it's good and next level. But mm -hmm. he's Enigma, and then they lose. It's like, it's clowny, but that's how they draft when they win, too. So I would say that game two looked like regular complexity in their current form. And yet Brackstone yeah. completely stomped them, like you said, Lacoste, from predicting the lanes essentially, and uh, playing them, playing them really well. So I think that bodes well for Brackstone. I love games where you're picking heroes that uh, just feel like comfortable, like you yeah, Pock and Jug, not considered meta, but obviously they look pretty good on the heroes and they fit the game very well. So yeah. uh, that that's a very exciting thing to see from a team because it shows they got a little bit of depth. They're not afraid to run their own strats, right? So yeah, for sure. Well, maybe they're Braxton. just experimenting with the picks, but uh, with this kind of a stuff, they can't mm -hmm. really compete with the tier one teams. Like if they draft like this, it's not gonna work out. Oh, so Brax what are you saying Braxton's about draft? complexity? Complexity's draft. Yeah. Oh, complexity's oh. draft. Okay. Mm. Fair. Perhaps. I mean, if you look at Braxton's lineups for both games, I don't even think you would say that is very textbook either. I mean, Sniper in the first game. Here they have Jug. You know, Puck we don't see a whole lot of. You know, so I'm curious if Braxton are also going to be one of these teams who just you know continue to bring out their own ideas and can just show it's good. And then suddenly they'll be in a position where they have crazy picks and we're saying that they're just a bit too outside the box. You know what I mean? It seemed like they just played better Dota than Complexity, but I would say that you know given they're they're very good players. Don't get me wrong, but complexity has looked relatively strong since uh, this. It, we've seen this iteration essentially, and uh, I would say that drafting comfort picks and stuff yeah. that is not meta is really good against teams that are drafting kind of meta. I mean, other than Envy's hero, it's, 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 it's a little yeah. experimental, but it's still I mean, kind of meta. It's like the five rolls that he's picking are still within the realm of what you want five rolls to do. So it's it's really not that amazing. Like the, yeah. Or that experimental, I should say. They lost three lanes. They lost three lanes, for sure. But so, it happens. But because Braxton played the style that they wanted to play, yeah. that they're comfortable with, so they knew all the rotations to make, they knew all the spells to press, except they predicted the lanes right. Yep. That That's really what mattered. Well, it was a quick finish to our uh, day here. Yeah, nice swift finish, and we're suddenly done. Another three best of twos concluded. And uh, just to kind of reflect on what we saw today, we had that double header with Pain uh, X. And uh, what, what ended up Pain happening? X. We had uh, Pain X to open the day. They faced off against Infamous. 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 Yeah. And uh, how'd that end up? 1-1? 2-0. One, 2-0 one? Two zero. Two zero for Pain X. Yeah. Yep. And then we got to see Pain X versus Wheel. Another 2-0. Right? For Paynex? Paynex looking good. Paynex looking great. Lots they of 2 are, today. Uh, they yeah. were sitting tied at the top with Complexity, but now with Complexity dropping oh, both of these yeah. games, yeah. Complexity are now down into the middle of the mix. And Braxton are, well, I guess Braxton are sitting at the top undefeated, but they still have plenty more games They're to play. They're looking pretty good. But that's good. That's a great Ooh. start. Complexity is probably one of the top seeds in this group, so if you knock out a 2-0 against them, pretty good chance you're going to make it to the top three and move on oh into the Yeah, playoffs. only three slots. I don't know, Cole, you got to you gotta shape up, man. You do. Oh, this Braxton team looking like this, Pain X looking good. Yep, against all fighting for a spot at the Summit X, Summit 10, Summit it, its X. own Invitational $100,000 event. So it's going to be mad hype. And uh, that will conclude things for today. So what is in store for tomorrow? Tomorrow... Tomorrow's going to be fun. we got a lot of hype things coming at you. We're not going to have just three. We're going to have four Whoa. best of twos. Whoa. Four best of twos. And a lot more than three. Grand Grant will be here tomorrow. Whom? He'll be joining us. We have the Lord of NA Dota himself, Grand Grant, going to be joining us. We're going to have five oh. of us. So he, we get to swap everybody out. Didn't he fly from Southeast Asia? Is he Southeast Asian? He's Southeast Asian. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a long flight from him. I know he looked very tired. Yeah, so. he's, yeah. he's resting up today, uh, hopefully doing his best to try to change over the time. I'll, I'll make sure he's well-rested before okay. he gets on the show. But uh, we're going to have a, an awesome time. So now it's time to close out today's show. And if you're one of our subscribers, and if you're an active sub subscriber today, you have a say on who we're going to behead now at the end of the show. So production, or someone over there in the dark, can you <laughs> tell me who is going to get beheaded today?
Lacoste, you are going to get beheaded <laughs> again. <laughs> All <laughs> right. You did such a good job. You and I'm your a wraith king. Probably I have a, a wise ass to someone. They already killed me once. Well, you know uh, what that means, Trent. Yes. By your order, you can right. summon Lacoste to the guillotine. Since I prefer the, the scepter, I think I will use this. Uh, I, I do order you wear the helmet, actually. That is my order. You must wear the Viking cap upon your execution, for you are a barbarian. To the guillotine. And please, you must show the most utmost respect for our newest subscribers when you have to read their name. I see the, the name list is there. So, Lacoste, would you please honor us with their names? Just a moment. Yes, Jesus please. Thank Christ. you. Are you comfortable in there? I can't put a hand. Here, right. This is your king's order. Oh, you look great. Perfect. That's it? Yeah. All right, I'm ready. So, special shout out to um, Nebel. Skylight South, WYRMZ, My man. Fluffin' Stuff. Fluffin' Stuff! Oh, oh. The legend himself. There's an in. There's an I in there. Borgoto, oh, that's not. Zective. I'm Stenchy Waffles. <laughs> Show some respect for Waffles. Yeah, this one's good. Maiton D, DD, Resnips, Solark. I don't know how do I pronounce this one. Don't Tanks. mispronounce. Just keep going, Tank you got K01, it. K01, Grappy, man, did these names. <laughs> Doing great. MR Froman, I don't know. Mr. Froman? Mr. Froman could be <laughs> it, yeah. WTI Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Bogdan Drutu. Uh, and <laughs> Mains Invoker. Allure Base and the Legacy Y, 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 Y. The Legacy Y, Y, Y. Show your respect, Lacoste. All right, I don't want to hear this man talk Excellently anymore. Excellently done. Okay, finish it off. Down with him, Mr. Hetzman.